Well, one Australian to feel this progressiveness and tolerance is my next guest, Maria Z, whose account with ING Bank was inexplicably, inexplicably closed in March this year. Maria, welcome to the show. Hi, Fred. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honour. Maria, for the benefit of the viewers, are you, you're very active in your own, on your own media website and on various social media platforms, but uh, as you've mentioned to me earlier, you're, you're sometimes hard to find. Um, so for the benefit of people who haven't discovered you yet, give us a bit of a background about how you wound up with your own media company and what drove you to be so outspoken. Sure. Well, it really started at the beginning of the mandates, if you will. I was working as a state sales manager for the largest non-for-profit disability employment agency in Australia. I was very convicted about the fact that not me, but my staff who I was responsible for were actually asking to uh, disadvantage Australians, people with disabilities and medical conditions to participate in unjustifiable mandates. And so it really wasn't sitting right with my conscience, Fred. I was already speaking out at the time. And, uh, and as a result, sort of uh, started to grow somewhat of a following and people were asking me to start independent media. And so I responded to what the public wanted. They wanted someone to speak for them. And, uh, and Z Media evolved out of that, really. And since then, we've grown into one of the largest platforms in Australia, really. But Maria, what is it about you that drove, that made you so determined to, uh, you know, speak out about what you were seeing? Uh, first of all, when you tell someone that they can't talk about something or you silence people and you silence doctors specifically in the middle of a pandemic, something's very wrong there. And I was hearing about doctors who were being raided, who were having uh, their licenses cancelled for just giving a different opinion to that of the official mainstream media narrative. We didn't hear any other sides. We just heard one story. And apart from that, I was involved with a documentary series talking about adverse reactions at the time. And we weren't hearing that in the mainstream media at all. And unfortunately, for the majority of Australians, they don't know where to go for information other than what the legacy media, which is what I call them now, rather than mainstream Fred, uh, were presenting. And so I felt responsible as a human being to really rise up and, and start sharing some of that information with Australians who wanted a different opinion. And as a result, interviewed some of the most prominent doctors in the world, Dr. Peter McCullough. I mean, I've lost count of how many interviews I've done with him, the most published in his field um, in history, really, uh, over 600 peer-reviewed publications to his name. And, you know, other doctors like him who were really experts and just had questions or had different data to what we were seeing all of the time, um, it shoved down our throats, really. And so uh, it, it was the lack of, of public debate, Fred, that really, really bothered me. That's um, that's not science, in my opinion. Well, you, one, lack of public debate is one way of putting it, but there was active resistance against you actually saying anything at all, wasn't there? T tell me about how what it was like in those early days. So there's a thing called shadow banning. As much as the big tech platforms will tell you it doesn't exist, it absolutely does. And I can uh, evidence that purely by the fact that I have almost 90,000 followers on Instagram and I'm lucky if I get a thousand people seeing my story, it gets pushed down all the way to the, the end of the people that they're following. Um, some of my posts, you can see the engagement um, dropping. If I was tracking, I was gaining about um, oh, over a thousand followers a week at the peak when it was actually growing. And then as soon as Instagram decided to squash me, it, it, it actually started unfollowing people. People were coming to me and saying, I'm, I'm constantly having to re-follow you. You keep disappearing. I can't even search your name. That is the same on Twitter. Two accounts have been cancelled on Twitter. We're on our third. Um, YouTube has repeatedly suspended me. Instagram, I've had to have three separate accounts. I've been on a permanent ban of sorts since April of 2022 on Facebook because of some of the things that I've said, which really are just doctors saying different things to the doctors we hear on TV, Fred. 